and Joe Coffey here for Premier Guitar. And I want you guys to look at this. This is a power supply for a pedal board. Take a close look, see if you can figure out where it's drawn from, where the power supply is. That's the beauty of it. It's actually coming in through the cable itself. I've got Brian Smith with me here. Brian, how you doing, man? Great this morning. Tell me, what's going on here? Well, what we've got is we've got a modded head. It's got a step-down transformer in the back that sends nine volts out the ring of a tip ring sleeve, standard stereo cable, backwards through the effects chain. It's turned off at the last pedal so the nine volts doesn't make it up to your guitar. Of course, if you had an active guitar, you could run the nine up to the guitar also and power it that way. Now, a couple of the questions that we get, one is, uh, what if I don't want to mod my amp? You can also run it with an external power supply and send the power out the same way and send the signal down to the amp. That way you don't have to mod the amplifier. The power still goes out through one cable. If you don't want to mod your pedals, you can mod the amp and have this box at your pedal board and still get the power out to the board and you don't have to mod anything. The pedal mod consists of two switches and a little internal alteration to allow it to accept phantom power and allow it to send phantom power. And your DC in then becomes a pass-through, so you can daisy chain further pedals off of this one if you only want to mod one of the pedals. Um, that's it in a nutshell. The advantages are you've got one cable now going to your pedal board. You don't need an AC drop at the front of the stage. Everything's grounded in the same spot, so there's no noise. And you can see how neat the setup is and how easy it is. How many milliamps? I mean, how many pedals so could you could? 1,800 milliamps or 1.8 amps, and will power about 12 pedals, depending on the draw of the pedal. Looks like some companies are already kind of building this in. If you, if you buy something from Andy Fuchs, uh, some We're of these models have the P3. With Fuchs amplifiers, uh, they'll install it as an option. We're also working with Barber Pills and uh, Analog Man. And of course, we're talking to anybody we can about it while we're here at NAM. So it's cool. It's innovative, man. I mean, nothing worse than uh, dealing with that wall wart on your power supply uh, when you we, set up your board. I mean, it's all boom right there in the we TRS. Like simple. We want it to go down quick and work right the first time. So. Well, speaking of that, you, you're also the guy behind the stand bag. We should take a look at this real fast. If you haven't seen this, this is an amp stand. If you don't want to drag an actual stand to the gig, uh, just set it up, lean it, and it's actually bringing sound up to your head rather than the, the back of your knees. So stand folds up like this, weighs less than a pound, goes in the back of your amp or in your gig bag in two seconds, takes less than a minute to set up, no nuts and bolts and all that kind of stuff. Of course, I haven't had my coffee yet, so of course I'm going to do it upside down. I got one of the straps backwards. So the little foam pad is actually what the amp is resting on, so it's not going to slide and fall flat on its back. Right, it locks together at the top. The amp sits on the foam block. The amp's nice and stable. You can see this one sitting on it. These guys will hold about 85 pounds. We modded it this year with a rib. The rib will hold about 110 pounds. So, I mean, we tested this thing with a 412 cabinet for about a week. Left it on there. They're plenty strong. But there are two uh, options here. How many degrees each one? I don't know the degree options, but uh, it's adjustable for pretty much any combo. Uh, there's almost nothing out there we found that wouldn't work with it. I'm Personally, I'm using it with an old Roland JC120, which is a pretty heavy 212 guy. So we walk it around and test it in other people's amp booths while we're here. That's cool. There's, there's one over in Agnator. All right, so if people want to find out more, where can they go online? They can go to www.standback.net. Cool. And for this? www.p3dals.com. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm Joe Coffey. You're watching PremierGuitar.com.